It's Monday, June 18th, which means tomorrow is Tuesday, June 19th, and that will be the start of a brand new event week in Grand Theft Auto Online. So today we're going to be talking about all the discounts, bonuses, and sales, and opportunities that are going to be going away, and what we can be expecting tomorrow in Grand Theft Auto Online. All right, so let's start with everything that's going to be ending today on June 18th. And there's a lot of really great opportunities that you probably want to take advantage of. The first is double GTA money and RP on the Fleece a Job Heist mission, which is the first one that you unlocked. It's done uh, with Lester in the high end apartments. So your last day to take advantage of that. Also, your last day to take advantage of the prison break heist. It's also getting double money and RP. Really nice opportunities right there. After that, your final day to take advantage of double money and RP on the first of the finale of the Doomsday Heist, which is the Data Breaches. So your last day for that. And it's also your last day to get double GTA money and RP on Simeon Contact Missions, which are pretty fun. They just get boring really fast. So lots of great money-making opportunities. So if you are waiting to do a heist or waiting to do contact missions, you might want to jump on them today because it's the final day for those three heist missions. After that, we've got some bonuses, discounts, and sales. 40 to 50% off select properties. You get 40% off of the facilities and 50% off of hangars and executive offices. And then up to 30% off of select vehicles. So you get 30% off the Cheval Taipan, 30% off the Overflot Autarch, two pretty good supercars. 25% off the Impante Deluxo, 30% off the Karen Karuma, 30% off the Karen Armored Karuma, 30% off the Lampadati Casco, and 30% off the Prison Bus. So some nice and funky vehicles included in there. Pretty cool. After that, it's 50% off select heist outfits and bulletproof helmets. So get 50% off the street, light combat, and heavy combat heist outfits as well as 50% off of Bulletproof Helmets, which will be great for helping you tackle all those heist missions. And then to celebrate the World Cup, 50% off of all Yacht Country flags and flag parachute bags. So again, pretty great way to celebrate the World Cup. And last but not least, the premium race is Spinner, which is locked to supercars and the Time Trial Maze Bank Arena. Now, all of these are technically ending today on June 18th. But as you guys know, the tunables for Grand Theft Auto Online traditionally don't update until the following day on Tuesday at about 4.30 or 5 a.m. Eastern Time. So if you're a late night gamer or an early morning gamer, you'll be able to take advantage of these discounts, bonuses, and sales. So now let's talk about what we could potentially see tomorrow in Grand Theft Auto Online. And the reason I use the word potentially is at this point, I have no clue what Rockstar has plans to do. Now, we know what is left, and I feel like a broken record at this point, but is tomorrow finally going to be the day in which we see the Dinka Jester Classic arrive in Grand Theft Auto Online? I'm still holding out hope. I think there is a chance. In case you guys don't know, in the Southern San Andreas Super Sports update, we have one vehicle remaining, and that's the Dinka Jester Classic. It was supposed to come out a couple weeks ago, but it mysteriously did not. Some people have assumed that Rockstar are extending it just to make the drip feed last a little longer. Other people are assuming that they're going to be saving it and re-releasing it in another DLC with bug fixes and more customization mods, etc. So I personally don't know what's going to happen. I'm literally 50-50 split. So I am still going to hold out hope that tomorrow we will finally see the Dinka Jester Classic in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's the only vehicle remaining in the files. So if a car is going to come out tomorrow, it's going to be this one. Now, I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Would you rather the Dinka Jester Classic come out now with all the bug issues it has? Or would you rather have Rockstar save it for a future update, even if it takes a little bit longer to come out and it has those bug fixes and maybe more customization options? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more on that in the comments. I'd like to know what you guys are thinking. Now, in addition to that, here's what else I think Rockstar could do. Number one, I could see them doing more free money opportunities or limited time events. So Rockstar have confirmed that more limited time events are going to be coming. They just didn't state when. But I'm assuming due to the popularity of the World Cup, there might be more opportunities for that coming this week whether it's a free t-shirt or hat, like an accessory, or whether it is another opportunity to make free money, I think in some way, shape, or form, Rockstar could end up celebrating the World Cup once again. We've seen them do that with discounts and sales and bonuses in back-to-back -back weeks. 
So it wouldn't shock me if they continued to do that going forward this week. The next thing I could see them doing is extending the heist week. So last week we saw three heists get double money in RP. I think the exact same thing is going to happen this week uh, where they give us more double money and RP opportunities to make some money. I think we're gonna see a little bit of a heist pattern going on here, which is obviously great because it's a fantastic way to make some extra money. Other than that, maybe Rockstar will add some new Martin Madrazo dispatch service missions or something of the like where Rockstar add new contact missions into the game, whether it's from Lester or Lamar or Gerald, something like that would be really cool. Uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy the dispatch service missions. I do as well. So who knows, maybe Rockstar might do something like that. And other than that, I think it's going to be a pretty simple week filled with bonuses, discounts, and sales. There's going to be a premium race and a time trial. There's gonna be some targeted sales. It's gonna last for one week long. I'll have all the details tomorrow once this information and once Rockstar officially updates the newswire and the tunables. But I think it will definitely be an interesting week. One thing I'm looking forward to once again on the Newswire post is if Rockstar will give us any details on the next update, like a little snippet at the bottom that says, you know, stay tuned for what's coming up next or, you know, soon we'll be talking about the next update. Just something like that would be really awesome to see at the bottom of the Newswire. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to be a really cool event week filled with bonuses, discounts, and sales, potentially some more free money opportunities, and hopefully a new vehicle waiting for us to buy in the Dinka Jester Classic. But once again, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think Rockstar is gonna do with this vehicle, and what do you want them to do with this vehicle? Do you want them to release it now or save it later? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. We like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.